My drug habit's over the fucking moon, mate. Three, three and four hundred a day. That's what my drug habit is. How do you how do you support that? Hey. Eh? How do you support that? By um. <laughs> <laughs> by um, jumping over fences, knocking on people's doors. They don't answer their door. I hit their fence. And smash their window and grab their goods. Simple as that. That's all I can do. Or else I'll be cook as a dog. So if you don't get money or get drugs, you what I'm sick. I'm sick as a dog. Have you been off it? Ever? For, yeah, for periods of time. Yeah, yeah. On and off it, yeah. Well, I was off it for three months. When was that? When was the last time you were off it? When I went to jail. How long ago was that? Um, that was two, that was a month and a half ago. That's when I got out. Yeah. So fucking when I went to jail it was May. So in jail you can't get anything? No, no you can. But you can only get sleeping pills and I'm not going to go using, you know? Needles in there. <coughs> so, how long after you got out did you get back into it? First day. Yeah. <laughs> First day, man. Why didn't you take the opportunity to uh, kind of try and get off it? I, yeah, I thought it was going to be just a one off thing. But it wasn't long, I didn't spend long enough in jail to get my head together, you know? So, I got out and done exactly the same thing, mate. And soon I'll be back in there <laughs> for a couple years, and then I will get out, and I will get my head together. Is there any way you can avoid going back back in? You think? Or you reckon it's inevitable? Nah, yeah, I can avoid it. But um, yeah, yeah, I can avoid it <laughs> if I stop fucking doing what I'm doing. What do you think the chances are of that? No, I've got my daughter here. Daughters. So, um, yeah. She's something to look forward to, aren't you? Yeah? Of course you are. Daddy doesn't want to leave you. Oh, you. See that? Should be more strong, that's weak, mate. Bad. Not good, buddy. Look at it, boy. Wow, man. It's a 
We're not going to Sydney Airport. Eh? Hey? We're not going to Sydney Airport. <laughs> We're going to... I ain't going to Sydney Airport, man. It's fuck away, man. Fuck all these, mate. I've been around all around here. You'll give it a go here, but they're all being washed down that way. So you're wasting your time around this way. Yeah, let's go down there, then. It's running up here, mate. You want to go down there, or what? Oh, I'll go anywhere, mate. I'm an Aussie. I'll go anywhere. So you're going to... You know to swim a loop? No. I'm going to put my head in this shit. Look at that. Buddy. No, man. That's the shit, mate. Jermaine's gonna be swimming in. <laughs> I'm the best in the world, and no one beats me ever. Yep, I am the best in the world, and my mate's in there, and he's he's the best as well. My one's a. I've already seen that. My one's a good. See, mines are good. Friggin', I chucked the way about nearly a hundred, I just kept ditching them, mate. Over oh, there, so at, I did chuck a few away, we hey? gotta sell the hock shop, man. Did chuck them, hey? If we gotta sell the hock shop, take every ball to them. No, man. I don't do that, but Even the fucking I know you mean. <laughs> I've got fucking me, my missus, my kids, my mate's missus, him and his missus, and his three kids, and fucking Maria fucks off tonight, my missus fucked off tonight, left the house wide open, playing in her own, didn't leave no note, no nothing. And she, She's done it before, she left for a week, mate, you know? On my daughter's birthday, mate, second birthday. Yeah. And I missed her birthday and shit. So, um, no, I told her, you do that again, man. You ever fucking go again, I'm gone, you know? So, that's it, mate. I'm fucking back in the game. Alright, it's in the morning. Been drinking all night, got some golf balls. Happy I found some golf balls, because I was pretty drunk last night. Um, Head hasn't <coughs> fell off in the morning, but it's going to fall off. Today we're going to sell some golf balls and maybe do a bit of King Mullop fishing. Maybe dig out some nice big yabbies and yeah. So, so can you tell us about our selling process, like where you do it and how you do it? Um, usually I go to Collier and sell my golf balls because I know all the bosses there, but um, don't know, why. don't know really. We'll see what happens, but. I want to sell them there just to get some money and get over and done with, so we will do that. Got to bleach them first and clean them all up, so after that should be all cool. See, look at the dirt come straight off. Yeah. Alrighty, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I need a stick or something, man. So I can stir the cans. Oh, Luke. Um, Luke and, yeah, Sheree, Luke and, um, Josh, Josh, sorry. Um, no, you need a big stick, man. Um, maybe, don't have a look. Four. 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 Four.
Yeah. 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 Who are you in relation? How do you know Jermaine's stuff? Um, because I've seen him sit on his front veranda when I walk past and live upstairs, up top, two up top. I've only met him three times. Oh, okay. About the third time. <laughs> nah, she's alright. She's a neighbour up upstairs. She always comes over. Yeah. Got a few neighbours around that come over and say hello. She's a good neighbour. What do you What do you think of the golf balls? Like, um, have you seen all the golf balls? Um, Oh, wow, are you washing them? Look what I've got. Chocolate what? spots. This one here smells like chocolate. Okay. Like, I did it in the car with my mum and my kid, and my mum's friend goes, Oh, someone smells like really nice. It smells like chocolate. Has anyone got a smile, please? No. Nah. Right out. Have you got any? What's his name? No, it's fine. Use that if you want. So did you used to, have you been to the golf course with your dad? Yeah, when I was young, man, yeah. We used to catch the bus there. So we, had, we, had, we had this guy that come over every day. Every, like the day that we finished getting golf balls, then he'd buy the lot of, lot of us, you know. So that would make us go. We'd just ring him up and he would come over. When, what time would you go? Like, would you go at night or? Yeah, just as it was getting dark, we'll jump, we'll jump on the bus. And then, by the time we got there, it'll be dark. And we'll go on the way. How old were you when you were going with your dad? Um, 17. Oh, that's how. So how long has he been doing it for? His dad? Yeah. 10 years. Alright. No, longer than that, 15 years. But yeah. he's not an ebb, not fucking... Once every four months, you know? Yeah. He's never ever really got away with it. Has he got a different style of doing it or? No, same as me. Pick up my feet. It takes him ages to get fucking a lot of balls. Yeah. And he can hack it fucking cold, you know? Yeah. I suppose you could get when you drank a carton. clean all this out properly, then after that will be good. Get that piping done and it'll be sweet. Like it's not the best, isn't it? No, it's not good at all. So what you gotta expect these days that mate? Government housing bro. Hey? Yeah in a way, probably government housing. Why not, you know, for a while, see what it's like. I'm only young, so I just don't live with daddy anymore, or mummy. So I thought I'd get my own place. I've got all these problems all the time. <laughs> it's only problems unbelievable. Gee, where's I? This gets better and better by the second, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Collie at the moment, we're going to sell some golf balls, hopefully we can sell them, we don't know what's going to happen, but with a bit of luck we should sell them for 30 cents, so, yeah buddy, what if see what happens. What are you going to do if you can't sell them? If we can't sell them, we have to go to different places and we have to try more harder, but it's not a problem, never a problem if we can't sell them, we will sell them no matter what, but um, if we get moving now. But yeah, well, <laughs> if we get moving now, we should be able to do something. With Luke's help, he knows all the bosses at Collier, so he can sell them very easily. <laughs> that boy looks so nice. Oh, 
Oh dear. I'll cut that a bit later. No, I'll just bring him in. I'll go talk. I'll wash my mouth out a bit and clean up a little bit and then go in there. You haven't got any chewy gum, have you? No, Cans of spray? No. Deodorant at all? No. Nothing like that? No, it's alright, doesn't matter. Right. He's gonna be in there forever because he talks a lot of shit. You'd say that on the documentary anyway. So, do you, when you come to the golf course, do you always go with Jermaine? No, I normally go by myself. Is that, do you prefer going by yourself? Yeah. Why is that? I don't have to put up no bullshit, for starters. And um, just make more money for myself. What, what do you mean by bullshit? Well, I'll do my own thing. Don't have to wait for anyone. Finish when I finish. the world, my friend. You've just sold some golf balls? Yeah, buddy. How much money did you make? A couple hundred bucks, 200, 300, something like that. I see you, mate. Oh, dollars out. Okay. I'm gonna make a great deal. Make more next time when we get on to it, buddy. Well, this is the house I used to stay at. I used to stay here when I was going to the golf course. Oh, Trev yeah. took me up and um, let me stay here for a while. And um, I used to go to the golf course from here, like every third day, make a bit of money. I found 20 bucks in the yard. You know, I got 160 out. And uh, I bought a was bank fee month, you know, they take $20 out. But the twenty dollars was in there, so I Luke. get pissed. Luke. Stay out. You stay in that bedroom there. And in there, Trev used to only charge me fifty a week, wasn't it, Trev? I'm having trouble so on this at the moment, Trev. So Not two time, and I hope. No, so I'm staying. She, I'm pretty sure she is. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. Oh, she took off last week, or last month, and left for a week. And you know Hayley, my daughter? I'm well, you got, I know there's a couple of kids, three kids yeah, or something. No, one, one's mine. Yeah, I know and, that. And I miss my, um, my daughter's <laughs> second birthday. And she took oh. off with it. And I didn't see her for her birthday. So she took off for a month, and I said, if you do this again, That's bad, I'm right. fucking leaving you. So she's done it again, and now I've left it. Now, you need a place to stay, though. It's a dump. It's yeah, a dump, you know? Yeah, I know it's the slums, but you can stay here if you want. You clean the kitchen, and you got free board, you know, because i got a bit of money tucked away in the public trustees. But you clean the kitchen, you have free board. Do you need a place to stay? No, but if... You know, worst comes to worst. Make it your last resort, because yeah. this is the pits, you know? Your dog pisses and shits it's everywhere. You haven't cleaned up home. Look at Dad's car, fucking hell. Where's your dad, uh, Luke? Where's your dad? I haven't seen him in two months. I haven't seen him in two months either. I, I heard when you beat him up too. I didn't beat him up. Nah. Uh, well, when you threw the push bike at him, you know? There was... No, I pushed it at him. I just yeah, but didn't you beat him up? What is that barrel called? What's that bloke? What you drinking? Good port. Uh, you're the man, aren't you? Plus drinkers. <laughs> no, I drink now. I drink hey, now. don't drink oh, wine. Yeah. That is wine. No kidding. Wine, yeah. I Things know. have changed and you're killing yourself. No. It's up to you, man, but you gotta really fuck off. You gotta really fuck. I know a few things, you know. A lot of things. Whoa, you, you, gotta, you gotta. You gotta know. How do you know? Whoa, you're good. Whoa. Your boy's been like I get that. letters. Your boy's been like that. Good eye, like you know. How do you no, know? No, I haven't always right, been right. like that. <laughs> See you, buddy. Your boy's been good. Don't drink. Yeah. Don't drink water, mate. Yeah, you gotta really hurt yourself. Oh, oh, I mean, right. years and years off we'll your see life. Ya.
I'll see you in about seven. Don't drink it all the time. Get rum and coke and vodka and orange and tequila. <laughs> see you this afternoon, all right? About six. Six or seven. All right, see you later, Trev. Good to see you again, eh? And thanks for the offer, too. I use these to get me off heroin. I was a bad heroin junkie back in my time. <coughs> well, that's, that's methadone. I get big bad ticks on my stuff. I shoot them up with those. Um, I just started using these to get my shit together. And they're sort of helping me, but fucking they get me stoned as well. But they're not. I'm not addicted to them. Josh. Josh. So when, when did you? How long ago did you first start using heroin? Um, I started using it pretty late when I was 19. That's late compared to a lot of people. But um, yeah, started using it, fucking had it once, loved it, can't stop. No, I can't, I'm stopping now, because I've got to get my shit to fucking get up. But yeah, I loved it too much, started stealing for it, went to jail for it, I'm out of jail now, and I'm getting my shit together. That's the scar from when I used to use heroin. My stuff's always the best, so that is the best time. No, I always get the best, so I will help you, I will help anyone. And yeah, of course, you're my brother. Real brother's mine. <laughs> my best mate. Huh? And yours? No, I'm not interested anyway. But um, my brother's, my brother's are right, my best mate. No, that's alright. Don't worry, no bruising in the morning, it'll be alright. Sweet, sweet. Come on, mate, don't worry. Be nothing there in the morning. Sweet, mate. It's the way we do it, mate. Sorry about that, mate. Yeah. Thanks, man. Stuff does happen these days. You never know these days. Oh, I love it, mate. I can't get enough of it. People love me, I love them. I treat them normal, they treat me good. Sweet. But I don't do drugs, you know. I'm not exactly the perfect person in the world. Doesn't look like it, doesn't it? You never know these days, is it, buddy? We do give it a go. But yeah, hopefully I'm gonna meet my perfect woman. I'm after a girlfriend. Any girlfriends out there, I'm after one. I'm a good looking guy, you know. Not exactly ugly, are I? But yeah, we'll find one one day, mate. I know I will. Why? I'm the best looking guy in the world, you know? Can't you see it? Good luck if you can't see it, mate. We will give it a go. Uh. We have got different ingredients for our golf balls for tonight. This is Harry and that's long. Long seems to be alright, just before we get in the water. Harry's alright on the way, but um, don't know why I, I prefer to have Long and Harry at the time. So tonight, it's a time roughly, but I can't really quite see that. Looks like it's on the way, 20 past, 20 past 12. 
so we're going to see what we can find. Yep, you'll be right, buddy. Move slowly, keep your arm up, and don't like push your feet into the yard. Just drift along, man. You'll be right. Trust me. So. What are we doing for today, Loki? Sorry? We're going to try to get rid of these balls first. He's got to get out there and start cleaning them. Yeah, it's a start, isn't it? This is a good trap. This is one of my favourite things. It's really hard jacket doing that, right? No, it's five bucks. You give five bucks extra. Sorry? You give five dollars extra. Did he? Yeah. Sweet. Because they were good, eh? That's why. Eh? You liked them very much? Probably. Hey? Do you like the golf balls at all? Yeah. Would, yeah, they're fucking good, man. They were talking about the ones just that are fucking terrible. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we better get out of here, over. I'll give you a good name, mate. I'm not, I'm not doing, mate. You would have said how good they then. Better have a look. They would have said straight away. You would have said, give us a look, mate. I hope they're not waterlogged or some shit like that. Is it right or wrong? Something like that, you know? Not faded, are they, or something like that? They're fussy down there, no? That's why I let you go in. I could have been and got him. Don't think if Maria gave a shit about me, man, she would have called me. Hey. Tell the truth, Josh, eh? Hey? To be honest, mate, I don't fucking know your situation enough to. Oh, uh, mate, if, she, if I took off like this, I'd ring her. I reckon there's other reasons, man, to be honest. What, what's the other reasons? She's scared. Nah. Maybe. I think honestly that she fucking loves you and stuff. What, yeah. what do you think that? I don't know man, you've got kids to it, you know? That, so that right? does something to it, baby. It doesn't. I don't know man, I haven't fucking had it myself, but yeah. Yeah, I still love her with all my heart. Yeah. But fucking, I can't take. Like the shit, the shit, she still wants to be a 16 year old, go for it, you know? But I'm not gonna be around to fucking support that man. You know what I mean? She's got kids, she should be a mum now. What do you mean, just like? No, I don't mean just stay home. I mean, like, we'll go out and have fucking, you know, fun with the kids. You know? Then when they go to school, we can do our own thing.
I know I can't.